Well, this morning I'd like to read just one verse from Genesis chapter 36, and it's verse one. Here's how it reads. This is the account of the descendants of Esau, also known as Edom. Now, as you read through the 36th chapter of the book of Genesis, you'll see a number of names, and they're all descendants of Esau, or as it says here in this translation, Edom. Now, as we look at this chapter, there's really just a couple things I'd like to draw our attention to as we consider this 36th chapter of the book of Genesis. Number one, it's a whole lot of names. Now, these names represent people, people that really lived and people that God really genuinely cared about. And one of the simple takeaway truths from God's word this morning is simply this. God knows your name. God cares about you. And as the Bible says elsewhere, he knows how many hairs are on your head. In fact, he's numbered them. This is something that's easy to miss, but it's extremely important. Every single person you encounter today, God not only knows them, but cares about them. All of these descendants from Esau, from Edom, are named and numbered. And so too, each person you interact with today, God cares about, they have a unique story. So in however you interact with them, show love, show grace, show and share the tenderness and kindness of God, for that's truly who God is. But the second truth I wanna share with you this morning is about this people group, Edom. You see, the people of Edom are mentioned at least 130 times throughout the Bible. And often, maybe not always, but often, they're mentioned in a challenging light. You see, Esau chose a wife from the people of Canaan. His parents encouraged him not to do so. And out of that choice came a lot of difficulty, sadness, challenge. And this is the truth I'd like to share with you this morning as we kind of wrap our minds around what God has to share and to show with us from Genesis 36. It's a truth that was shared with me years ago, and it goes something like this. Sin always leads to sadness. Holiness always leads to happiness. Sin leads to sadness and holiness leads to happiness. See, this is what I mean. The choices we make eventually make us. And when we make choices that don't align with God's best, it brings sadness, challenge, difficulty in our lives. And holiness? Well, holiness leads to happiness. See, that's true of Jesus. Jesus is that holy one, that perfect one, that complete one. And because he's holy, through faith in him, we're made happy, we're made whole, we're made forgiven and free. But also true is that your decisions, as they fall in alignment with holiness, as you choose to live as a living sacrifice, heart, head, and hands, as you choose to walk with God in obedience, well, obedience leads to a life that's full of fruit and happiness, not a life that is free from difficulty, but as a rule of thumb, sin leads to sadness and holiness leads to happiness. See, as you learn about the people of Edom throughout the Bible, you'll see that it's often mentioned as a people group that's riddled with challenge, sorrow, difficulty. And that all goes back to the story of how they came to be. Esau chose to make a decision that didn't align with God's best for his life and it always led to challenge. So true in our lives, may we make decisions that align with God's word because truly, sin leads to sadness, holiness leads to happiness. So today in Genesis chapter 36, be reminded that God knows every single name, every single person matters. And in our choices today, let's choose God's best in the way that we live.